Hi there. Welcome back to another episode of Studio 64. In this episode, we'll have a look at this 2021 release from Tomy Tech. The 1967 Porsche 911 S model number LV86G, the maroon colorway, under the Tomica Limited Vintage line. This model also came with the 1966 Porsche 911 model number LV86F, the yellow-orange colorway, during its release last July. A brief info on the Porsche 911 S, where the S stands for, Sportomatic. It's powered by a 160 horsepower, normally aspirated, flat six-cylinder engine, that has a top speed of 140 miles per hour. Every Tomitech TLV, or TLVN casting, comes with this plastic brick rod. Standard and premium castings. The Tomica Limited Vintage line has always packaged its regular castings, in this box design layout. They never diverted from this box design, where an artwork of the model is shown in front, with the info on the model, in Japanese characters, wrapped around the box. There is however, this new addition to the packaging. It now has a hologram type, official license product sticker, which it didn't have in previous models. A much welcome improvement. This plastic shell has a minor tweak as well. There is now a provision for the side mirror of the car. I do wish they had the same implementation for their other castings where the side mirrors are unattached. And here it is unboxed. This casting is quite familiar to me, since I have two other TLV Porsche 911s. And in my opinion, it's really one of the nicest castings Tomitech has made. Having said that, this maroon version is something I decided to get mainly because of this colorway. The paint finish is superb. The glossy paint really pops, and is nicely complemented with the tan interior, and the gold Porsche decal at the back. I do hope this finish wouldn't end up with paint rashes, as TLVs and TLVNs are quite notorious for getting paint rashes in the long run. Viewing it from the side profile, we can see that the stance of this casting is still a tad tall. It's still pretty much the same as previous models. Nevertheless, the proportions are spot on. The iconic Porsche silhouette is clearly defined. The tires are made of rubber, and the rims are design accurate, with that classic Porsche black and silver 5-spoke center disc. The wheel well on this casting is another nice feature. It's quite realistic in my opinion. Oh and wheels roll smoothly. A standard in Tomica castings. Subtle silver accents seen here are the window sills, the stripe on the rocker panel, the door handle with a keyhole, and the chrome side mirror. Speaking of side mirror, I'm glad they opted to place one on this model, however it's done pretty rough. It's like an afterthought. Moving to the front, we get a look at the iconic Porsche round headlights, positioned above the bonnet line. Although on this casting, this would be my least favorite profile. Had the stance been lowered just a bit, I think this casting would have looked much better, especially up front. Moving in closer, we see the details on this front end. Starting with the chrome headlight cowls, which houses the plastic lens inserts. The turn signals are also plastic inserts but colored orange. There's also a vent detail painted beside the turn signals. The plate number is widened compared to the previous model. Oh and of course, the detailed Porsche badge tampo. Nothing unique going on this side, except that it doesn't have a side mirror. Moving to the rear, this for me is the strongest part of this casting. Particularly the upper part. But first, we take a look at the tail lights. These are colored plastic inserts, both red and orange, separating the tail light from the turn signals. The bumper has a black trim painted, and the bumper guard is painted silver. This part of the rear end is for me, the highlight of this casting. The curves of the 911 is front and center in this profile. The engine grille is tooled with precision and very neatly painted. Plus, the Porsche brand and 911S tag are implemented accurately. Pretty much the same with this base from previous models. Semi-detailed metal base, riveted to the body, with the year when this casting was first released. 2010. Let's now check the interior. There's not much detail in the cockpit, other than the steering wheel and the seat color. However, the seats have changed from the previous model. It now has a headrest.
And there you have it. The 1967 Porsche 911 S maroon colorway of the Tomica Limited Vintage line. My take on this? Well, I am a fan of this TLV 911 casting. However, in as much as I would like to collect more of the past models, budget constraints dictate otherwise. Which is why I am glad TLV made another release of this model. What do you guys think? Leave your comments below. And do consider subscribing if you like this video. Till our next iCast me. Thank you for watching. Be safe.